If there is not enough glucose in the body, a child with T1D may begin to feel tired or sick. Hypoglycemia happens when the glucose in the blood drops below healthy levels. When the blood glucose is less than 70, we call this hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is commonly known as low blood sugar. For children under two years old, we consider a low blood glucose to be any result less than 80 during the day or less than 130 at bedtime. A child experiencing hypoglycemia might feel any of these symptoms, shakiness, sweating, dizziness, confusion or difficulty speaking, hunger, weakness or tiredness, headaches, a nervous or upset feeling. The child might feel any combination of these symptoms or none of them when their blood glucose is low. Everyone is different, so it's important to pay attention to how the child is feeling and check their blood glucose regularly. Hypoglycemia can be caused by several things, including giving too much insulin, the child not eating enough carbohydrates to match the insulin you've already given them, exercising or intense activities, skipping meals, drinking alcohol without adjusting for its effects. Doing any combination of these things can increase the chances of the child having a low blood glucose. Severe hypoglycemia can lead to serious health problems. If a child's blood glucose is less than 50, it is considered severe hypoglycemia. Severe hypoglycemia may cause the child to lose consciousness. If they lose consciousness or the ability to swallow, a caregiver will need to give them a special medicine called glucagon because it is no longer safe to treat the low by eating or drinking carbs. It is extremely important that you do not put anything into a person's mouth if they are unconscious or asleep, cannot sit up, or if they cannot swallow. Doing so puts the person at extreme risk for choking and suffocation. It's perfectly normal to experience hypoglycemia occasionally. The child with T1D or a caregiver with them should always carry a form of fast-acting carbohydrate, like glucose tablets or glucose gel, in order to treat a low blood glucose that might catch you by surprise. If the child experiences low blood glucose three or more times a week or experiences a severe low and requires a caregiver to give them glucagon, it is important to talk to your diabetes care team about strategies to avoid dropping low. In the next video, we'll talk about how to treat a low blood glucose using the rule of 15.